Well, I tell you, first of all, um, what a team win. I mean, that was a team win in, in every aspect uh, possible. Uh, you kind of recap the game a little bit. Look, T. Mart, you know, got his first start out there and struggled. I mean, he gave up six runs in the first. It is what it is. There's lots of stories. Certainly for me, it starts with Zach Farf. I mean, we gave up, think about that. We gave up six runs in the first and then put up eight zeros the rest of the way. That, that's awesome. Uh, so that he did a tremendous job uh, to pick his teammates up all the way through, as did, you know, the rest of the relievers. So that, that's first and foremost. You put up six at the beginning, then you put up zeros for the next eight innings. That's awesome. You know, that's, and that, what that does allows the guys to stay in the game and build momentum. And we had momentum, you know, the whole game. We just finally were able to capitalize it. But from a team standpoint, it says quite a bit when you're able to rally uh, down 6 nothing to get the win. Is Carr someone you can see become that Sunday starter now with that lengthy role he had today? Uh, probably not. Probably not. You know, he's um, – listen, Zach did a terrific job. I don't want to say never, you know, but, uh, you know, the role that he's in, listen, we expanded him today. Uh, you try to, you know, in your mind, you, you know that we play Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but you just play one game at a time. Uh, but he did a great job. He really did. But he's you know, he's more of, like I said, kind of middle, set up, close kind of guy, but did a tremendous job. What was your message to the team after? Yeah, the message to the team was, you know, was we, we really, uh, we had some very focused, intense practices um, you know, after the two midweek losses. And I think the kids knew that, you know, what we expected of them. As I said yesterday, you know, to everybody, it's my responsibility as a head coach to, you know, you not just see the now. When you're 18 to 22 years old, you know, sometimes you, you, all you can worry about is right now. You know, you're not, what tomorrow is. There is no tomorrow. You don't know. But it's a, it's a coach's responsibility to evaluate the now and see the big picture, to see what really matters. And the big picture to me is that we just need to keep getting better and kind of get refocused a little bit. So the message to the team was it took everybody to win today and to win on Sunday, on Championship Sunday, on a walk-off. That's the epitome of a team effort, and they did a great job. You said before the game you wanted to get some extra lefties in the lineup. You have Nick Carrillo mm -hmm. come off the bench cold in the ninth inning, get that big hit, and he ended up representing the tying, or winning run, actually. Just talk about his hit in that situation. Yeah, I mean, obviously a big hit. You know, a big hit right there. You know, to have these left-handed bats, you're right, we've been really kind of playing with the bottom of the order down there because, you know, we, we don't – we just need, you need to have balance. The more balance you can have in a lineup from a right-left standpoint, I mean, the better. It's just harder to pitch to. It doesn't ensure a victory or you're going to score a lot of runs, but it makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, and that was a huge hit by Nick. Can you talk about the pitching overall this weekend, Saturday? I mean, Friday was lively innings. And then last night and today, the, your bullpen really carried you and kept you in the game. When the game was uh, in question. I would classify our pitching as average this weekend. Average. Yeah, very average this weekend. I mean, just like anything, there's going to be, you know, there, there's going to be individual great outings. I mean, Zach Farb certainly had the, had an, uh, an incredible out. That's the outing of the weekend, obviously, to be able to do what he did. Did a great job. But, um, you know, we, we need to keep getting better. You know, we need to keep getting better. But, uh, you know, I thought Ben, you know, obviously pitched well. Danny Davis was was very average. And obviously, you know, T-Mart's got to bounce back. And he will. He's got a bright future here. So, uh, But the bullpen did a pretty good job. You know, at the end of the game, Matulis did a good job. Spencer, you know, two in a row right there. Jimmy Reed came in and did it. So, you know, we just got to kind of solidify our rotation. I don't know what we're going to do going into this week. I mean, a game plan a little bit. You don't know if we're going to see Brian yet. Who? Night, Brian no, I don't know what we're going to do yet on Tuesday. I mean, one of those days has got a good shot, obviously, being a staff day. So but we'll, we'll, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Two very good teams, UNF and Miami. Consistency is very important in any sport. What is it that your team has to do to get consistent wins? We need to play fundamental baseball. That's the number one thing we have to do. We're not, we don't have to do anything crazy. We just need to play the game. As simplistic as that sounds, just look back. You know, I was listening last night. I, I was not pleased. We won, which was great. We didn't play well last night in any aspect. Base running, pitching, hitting. I mean, we did a couple of things, but overall, we didn't play well. And that was my message to those guys last night. You know, this is not about the now. This is about continuing to get better. Uh, and we got better today. So for us to be the team we need to be, we need to be, as you said, consistent, but we need to play the game just fundamentally sound. Yeah, this, uh, I mean, this right here feels great. It's an amazing feeling to come back from a game like that. You know, we struggled in the first inning. It's very obvious, but uh, um, as a whole, we played well. We came out on Sunday. Coach challenged us this weekend with playing as a team. And if you ask me right there to end that game, um, from second inning on to the ninth, we battled as a whole, as a whole team. Can you talk about the growth of the team from last week to this week and how the young guys have improved and how they're getting more experience? Yeah, the young guys are, I mean, they're younger, um, it's obvious, but uh, as you come out, and we're, they're continuing to improve every day at practice, every day on the field, every game. At the end of the season, they're going to be just like all of us. I mean, every day everybody's getting better, and that's what we're trying to do.
you know, as my role is, you know, you got to learn how to communicate with people. Um, there's tough times and there's good times. And right now you're going through a little tough time. We struggled a little bit. And you got to know when to get on people, when to comfort them, and how they're going to relate. You have a very high average uh, when there's two out or running in corners and scoring position. What, did, what do you attribute that to? Is it, can you put a finger on it? Is it a different mindset when that situation? Uh, I mean, to be honest, no. I can't, I can't really attribute it to anything. I just go up there and I'm trying to hit the ball. That's huge. Um, like you said, four hits in the first inning, and they only got one more after that. Favre came in, did an amazing job, and then Spencer Davis coming in to close it out. Jimmy Reed coming in, getting his job done. I mean, it's just huge today. Like I said, playing as a team, we did it. We did it well. Can you talk about the offense overall in this three-game sweep, especially from Saturday and today coming back? Offense overall, I mean, I've got a lot of confidence in our offense. Um, we can hit the ball well. Um, there's no doubt in my mind. Even if if we're down or we're hitting bad, say we don't get a lot of hits in the game, we're hitting the ball hard. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that we can hit the ball, and this weekend, even today, was, was huge for us. Came through, playing the game, got hard hits. Uh, I was just trying to get in there, get the job done, get my team the best chance to win, stuff like that, and uh, just got to adapt and overcome. My defense was play, play the right game tonight and couldn't play any better. And Bream was calming me down in certain situations. So. How tough is it to pitch once this goal? Uh, when you're up there on the mound, you don't really, like, uh, really, what is, what's the word? Think about it? Yeah, think about it. There we go. <laughs> you don't really think about that kind of stuff. What was that feeling like, obviously, from the dugout, you know, when he gets that hit to, to win the game? Obviously, everyone's excited, you know, rushing the infield and everything. It feels great, you know. You know, it's a big team effort. I mean, it was drilling a rush in the beginning, you know. We always itching for that hit. He'd be just hitting balls hard everywhere. I told him it was going to fall sooner or later, and there he went. What was a more terrifying moment, your first pitch here at UCF or your first interview right now? Oh, probably my first interview. <laughs> I mean, I'm not shaking as, as much as I was in my first outing. I was like... <laughs> yeah, shaking. But, Are you enjoying yeah. it here? Down yeah, it's a lot of fun. And you, you see Abby, enjoying the experience so far, freshman year. Absolutely, I love it. Well, Zach, you guys grabbed your second series uh, win of the ser of, of the season so far. Uh, what is it from a pitching standpoint that you're seeing from the staff or from the bullpen or the starters that need to be con more consistent to continue in the season? Oh, we just keep pounding the zone, throwing strikes, and giving your team the best chance to win. What's it like with uh, Chris Matulas back there? I know you got a big senior guys in his fifth years. Has he taught you a lot back in there in that, in that bullpen? Oh, absolutely. My first outing on Friday night, I was like, Chris, I'm so nervous. And he was just <laughs> calming me down and just gave me peace of mind. I went up there and just threw strikes. They got the job done.